so guys this is one x-ray that has really fascinated me during my residency so i would i would ask you guys to identify this x-ray and see where are these arrows pointing towards so guys these arrows these are pointing towards these arrows these are pointing towards horn shaped structures in bilateral iliac bones okay so these are basically presence of bilateral iliac horns bilateral iliac horns which are seen in patients of which are seen in patients of nail patella syndrome nail patella syndrome so this is also a supporter that is very frequently asked in our exams and uh, this can be asked in your neat pg exam as well nail patella syndrome so guys why is this uh, why is this iliac horns referred to as nail patella syndromes because in these patients what is going to happen you are going to find you are going to find that the nails are dysplastic nails are dysplastic and the second thing that you are going to find is the is the absent patella absent patella in these patients absent patella in these patients right so this was your nail patella syndrome coming to the second case another very important skeletal dysplasia that every should, student should be aware of okay so this is an x-ray of the spine x-ray of the spine and this is your this is your x-ray of the skull lateral view what do you see in these patients what do you see in these patients so guys just take a time to pause this video and try to identify it i will tell you i will tell you guys in this patient you can see that there is J shaped cella that can be seen. J shaped cella can be seen in this patient. Okay. And in the in the in the second case, in the second case we can see in the second image we can see that there is inferior beaking of the vertebra. Okay, inferior beaking of the vertebra. So this inferior beaking of the vertebra, J shaped cella, these are characteristic features of Hurtler syndrome. Hurtler syndrome. So in the comment sections, write, write down to me, okay, what are the other clinical features that you are going to see in patients with Hurtler, Hurtler syndrome. And if you look at the fingers of the of these patients, the fingers are short and tubular. Fingers are short and tubular. And if you look at the ribs, if you look at the ribs, okay, so it has a spatulated appearance. Spatulated appearance. It means that the ribs are widened. The ribs are widened, okay. So guys, if you are interested in more such supporters, so come and join with me today at 6 p.m. Today at 6 p.m. on the Unacademy Learning app. And we are going to revise the entire radiology in just 5 hours, all the important images. Right? And guys, um, this lecture will be available free of cost. You just have to download the Unacademy Learning app. Unacademy Learning app. Go to the Neat PG section then search my name Himanshu Gupta and uh, in the free courses in the free courses you will see you will see that my lecture will be available so till then guys bye bye take care keep working hard and also watch the previous video on skeletal dysplasia